Hey guys, I got my October Boxy Charm in the mail. Oh, my makeup is jacked up today. I don't know what I did to this eyeliner, but it looks crazy. Anyway, if you guys want to see what I got in my box and my variations for this month, stay tuned. So I know there are a few of you out there that aren't familiar with BoxyCharm or you've probably heard of it and whatever. Um, BoxyCharm is a $21 a month subscription. They give like five to six full size products. Uh, sometimes we get seven. Retail value is like, I don't even know, $120, $130, sometimes more. Um, and now they have a Boxy Deluxe too. If you guys are interested in all of that information, I will leave that down below. I didn't even say happy Friday, you guys. I don't know if I'm going to upload this today, but it is Friday. Yay. I hope everybody got through the work week, um, you know, okay. And I know you guys have the weekend to enjoy. Anyway, let's just dive right into this box. I'm not really sure on all my variations. I think there was a couple this month. Um, I don't know everything I got. And I was supposed to be getting ready to step out the door, and I'm, like, sitting here staring at this box. Like, it can't wait, so. And I can't open it without you guys, so. And this is what we're going to do. When you open the box right here, it's really cute. It says, Hello Charmer. My stand is getting really annoying. It keeps wobbling. Anyway, so hopefully nothing falls out. When you open the box, there's always this card. And underneath of their great packaging are the products. I'm not going to peek. I want to show you guys the card first. Oh, cool. So off the bat, I see on the back there's 10% off of your next purchase for It Cosmetics. They usually do that for products that they feature. This month's theme for BoxyCharm is Alter Ego. And when you open it up, it has all the products listed here, brief descriptions, and prices. So I don't even want to look down there, but I will just pull stuff out the box. But you guys can see, look. This is what it looks like. I'm so excited. I think I see what I wanted. So for the first product, I got this Superhero It mas or It Superhero Mascara, Elast Elastic Stretch Volumizing Mascara. Great packaging. And this retails for $24. It says wrap your lashes in lengthening, volume boosting, volume boosting, and ultra conditioning formula. The elastic stretch technology and the ultra black tint make for the thickest and most defined lashes ever. I didn't want to rip my packaging, damn it. Let's see. So this is what it looks like. I want to see. I want to see. This is gorgeous packaging. Look at this, you guys. I want to see the wand. I had to stop for a second, but I didn't pull it out, I promise. Ooh, this is a really cool wand. nice I have mascara on right now but I really I smell everything <laughs> it doesn't smell bad though love the packaging cannot wait to try it um maybe I'll do a video with trying on everything because I know everybody does that nowadays on YouTube and um I like sharing with you guys so that'll be totally totally cool and I did tell you guys that that retails for $24 I have a feeling that's going to be like my next favorite mascara. I cannot wait to try it. The second thing I got is the um, Dermovia Lace A Peel Black Bamboo Charcoal Peel Off Mask. This retails for $30. There's two in here. Um, again, I'm going to have to do a video on this because I've seen a lot of interesting videos with this. There's a tube in here with some product. Like, uh, it looks like that black mask stuff. I think I had sent some to you, a couple of you guys um, and then you peeled off. But you put the black stuff on your face and then you put this lace mask on top and you let it dry. And when you pull the mask, the lace off, it's supposed to remove the black charcoal and I guess um, exfoliate your skin. So we will do a video on this as well. My third product, I'm not going in order now, is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. She's got great packaging. 
I'm not really sure about the color. I did get an email um, sneak peek of the color I was getting. This is called Hawkwind. If you guys can see that. This retails for $20 too. Let's see if I can find something to cut this open with. Because somebody stole my letter opener. One of my kids probably. Which is a little alarming because it's like super sharp. Taking all this time up. Sorry guys. Ooh, pretty. Just like we see online. Very pretty. It's got her name on the bottom. If you guys can see that. No. I think since I only have like chapstick on, we can try this on. I'm very scared because this is like a brown color. To me, it looks brown. But let's see if we can do this. Ooh, we don't want to do all that. It is dark. Ah! A little too dark for me, I think. Oh. It's really hard to do this on the camera. So, this is what I got. For some reason, my lighting is funny and it's making it look like I went too high, but I didn't. Anyway, it's okay. I like it. I like the formula. It feels good on my lips. I didn't do a great job putting it on, but I don't think the color is that bad. I am in the middle. I didn't even tell you guys. Oh my God. I'm in the middle of changing my hair color. If you haven't noticed, a lot of the pink is out. I am doing a video on it. Um, and I'm not going to tell you guys what color I'm doing, if you don't remember, because I know I've mentioned it at least once in a video. So it is a lot lighter right now. I'm stripping all the bleach out. I mean, not the bleach, uh, the pink out. So I look a little flushed, I think, with this blonde. Anyway, I'm babbling. So this is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick for $20 in the color Hawkwind. I actually, it's growing on me. It is growing on me and it's definitely a great fall color so wow I wanted there was two other colors I wanted they were more of nudes um, and then there was the pink one oh my god I love the pink one but anyway on to the fourth thing this product I was nervous about this variation because I did not want the other stuff no offense boxy germ but to me they're sample size um, like deluxe sample size and I didn't want them so I did I got lucky I got the pharmacy uh, clean green or green clean sorry this is a makeup melt away cleansing balm exclusively for BoxyCharm in 50 mls it retails for $22 it says this cult favorite makeup cleansing balm melts away even the boldest of makeup looks it's powerful enough to remove every last trace of long wearing makeup yet ultra nourishing on your skin leaving it hydrated and smooth this is a nice, to me, this is a full-size product. I love pharmacies products, and they are Korean, and I'm big on, like, Asian products. And you guys know I like skincare, so I want to show you guys what this looks like. I am going to be doing a video on something, so I'm, I'm not going to really get into details with you about it. But make sure with any company, with any brand, that you read the directions for things like skincare okay anything i know it's just common sense and people you would think everybody does it but sometimes we don't and sometimes we assume that certain things are for one thing and then you find out something else that's just a hint of one of my videos i'm doing don't even want to tell you i well i'll give you a little bit more of a hint i got a package of something that was skincare and i thought it was a moisturizer and it wasn't that's all i'm gonna say and i was treating using it as a moisturizer and what happened to me, you guys are going to want to see. And that's going to make you want to read the instructions on everything. All right, so enough babbling about my um, upcoming video. Let's get into this um, green clean. So I took off the little thingy. It's got like a, maybe a minty. Can you guys see that? Is this it? Okay. It smells minty. I just want to see what it feels like. So it's on there. 
Ooh, it's like, wow. It like almost dissolves right away when you touch it. You see how thick this is, right? And I just scooped out a little tiny bit on my hand and it like liquefied. Kind of feels oily, but then when you rub it in your fingers, it doesn't. And it is definitely minty, like really good though. Not, not like an overbearing minty. Maybe this has some cucumber in it or something too. It smells good. These teenagers are working my nerves. Um, sorry, I had to get interrupted again. Anyway, the last product. Today's word seems to be anyway for me. Every time I start a uh, sentence, I'm like, anyway. So the last product is the Pure, Pure the Complexion Authority. Never used to say that before. Um, this is the Midnight Masquerade Plat Palette. <laughs> it retails for $38. Very pretty. I'm still unsure about this from what I've seen online. It looks like it has two highlighters, a blush, a contour maybe, and six shimmer shades for your eyelids. I cut open a little sticky thing. I was saying that I'm not really sure about this palette. I know it's got gorgeous packaging. I don't know if I really like the colors. They did look pigmented, but just the variety of the palette. Um, doesn't seem like I would be into, but we like to try new things here in my home. So, and that is why I'm a part of all these subscriptions. So, I'm not complaining. I'm open to trying it. Midnight Masquerade Face Palette. It is gorgeous. The the packaging. Oh, and it opens up this way rather than up and down. Wow. Okay. So we have this side and this side and then a pretty mirror up top we'll do some swatches all right so I swatched the um, highlighter blush side so this first one here is Twilight then this is enchantment this looks like the blush ones um, hidden secret and reveal sorry I couldn't read that they are really, really pigmented and gorgeous. Gorgeous colors, great for fall. Um, I'm a little surprised, actually. Um, I always say it, like I said it last month too, I don't think, even all the videos that we watch, I'm sadly, if I'm saying that about videos that I watch, then my video is not even gonna do it justice. Um, this isn't the first palette that I've seen online where I wasn't too fond of it, and then when I seen it, I was like, wow, it's really not what I thought, you know? So you guys got to see it for yourself. I swear I do terrible swatches and I've been on YouTube for quite some time now. What, since May, I think? And my swatches are terrible, but I will show you guys. This top one here is exposed. Then I did, I did, uh, <laughs> I noticed that out of the six, one of them's not a shimmer. One, it looks like a matte. This is called Sneak Peek, this brown one here, which is kind of cool to have. And then we have Showtime and mask off sorry about my nails girls we have disguise which is gorgeous and then this bottom one is 12 a.m which to me looks like a really nice gray it looks like a shimmer it doesn't look like so much of a shimmer on my arm a little bit maybe but my favorite is this one this disguise oh my god it's gorgeous and the first one exposed love it so i I'm impressed. I am. I'm not. I wasn't surprised. Um, I was a little disappointed, like all month, with the sneak peeks and stuff, because I like pure products. I like their um, palettes. I loved their sculpting palette we got from BoxyCharm, and I know a lot of people didn't, but I do, and I love the smell of it, the formula. So I was a little upset this month, but you definitely have to see this because, in my opinion, it's not what it looks like. Even me showing you, you just really have to see it for yourselves. They are gorgeous colors. I, I can't wait to do a video for you guys on something out of the box. I've been trying out of the box colors, so I'm sure I can do something fabulous with this for fall. Um, I'm really happy with this box this month. I'm so glad that I got the um, Green Clean from Pharmacy. You guys know I like Asian products. Um, I'm really stoked. There's nothing in this box I don't like. So off the top of my head, just trying to, without my calculator, I believe this box retailed for 134. 
which to me is great. It's a $21 box. By the way, did you guys do the Summer's Eve promotion? It ends, I believe, the 27th of this month. I have a video here for it. I will um, attach it to this video. It so far looks legit. I'm telling you, I purchased two products at my local supermarket. They were on sale, and one even had a coupon on it. So I think I paid like $3 at most for two products. And um, sent it. I took a picture of my receipt. Went back on the Summer's Eve website. Um, I attached my image, which was the receipt, filled out the form, and sent it. Um, it was very easy. It didn't ask anything about being a member, which makes me believe that, um, you know, it's not going to interfere with our subscription already. Um, it, I don't know if we're going to get an extra box in November if, if it, when it goes through or if we're going to get our November box for free if we're already a member, though. Um, what else did I want to tell you guys? I got an email from them a little bit later saying in a couple, yeah, um, my application was processed. In a couple days, I'll get, you know, I guess the okay or whatever. Um, oh, yeah, and it didn't ask for any payment information. It said that shipping is all-inclusive, um, and it didn't ask for any payment information. Again, making me think that it's not really trying to get you to sign up with BoxyCharm. Um, it gives us the option to see what they're about if you didn't know. So some of us already know, but we're still going to get lucky, hopefully, and get this free box. So let me know what you guys think um, about the box. What were your variations this month? What did you guys get? And are you happy with everything? Um, you know I like to hear your thoughts. Or have you tried any of these products before? Because there's... There's not one thing in here that I've tried this month. So this is great. I'm familiar with a lot of the com companies. Not all of them, but I'm familiar with most of them. I think the only one I'm not familiar with is this lace appeal. Actually, you know what? I think I just tried something from Dermavia from my uh, Derm Store Beauty Fix box. But um, yeah, I like this box. I'm super happy. I hope you guys got everything that you wanted this month for your variations. And I hope you are really happy with your boxy time. I will talk to you guys again real soon. I'm talking with my hands like crazy and I need to get my nails done. Have a good weekend and I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.